As this year's FAFSA application deadline is coming soon, our Eyewitness News reporter Vera Shung talked to Hartwick College Financial Department employees to get tips for when you're filling out that application. The FAFSA can be complicated. Um, two things I would advise people that are doing it for the first time. Um, the first is to take your time. Um, there is a lot of manual input with the FAFSA. Uh, there is a demographic section. Uh, there is an, uh, an income section for both the parent and the student. Um, and a lot of the errors that I've seen happen are because people rush uh, to get the FAFSA done. So I would recommend that you carve out you know, maybe 90 minutes uh, or so. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, and the second thing is on the financial side, there is an option to use the data retrieval tool. Uh, it's called the DRT for short. Um, by choosing this option, it allows uh, the IRS uh, to um, really transmit your tax return into the FAFSA. This way, uh, there's little chance of an error from uh, uh, being manually input. The good news is people can be on the lookout for a simplified application next year. For next year, they are simplifying the FAFSA. So Congress passed, it's called the FAFSA Simplification Act. And what that is, is right now, the FAFSA has approximately 100, 103 questions, I believe. So Congress, uh, along with the Department of Education, um, revised the FAFSA, and they are now cutting it down to 30 questions. So it's going to be much easier for families moving forward, um, but those changes won't take effect until next year. Reporting in Utica, Vera Shang, Eyewitness News.